Okay, so in this video, we're going to see how much faster the new Mac Studio is at exporting a Final Cut profile versus my M1 MacBook Air. Hi, my name is D.I. Lee and you are my VIP and I'm a software engineer by day, YouTuber by part time and on this channel, we talk about tech news and reviews. And in this video, we're going to see how much faster the new Mac Studio computer is. Now, before we begin, I just want to talk a little bit about the specs. So I picked up the cheapest version of the Mac Studio computer, even though that is still $2,000. It comes in with the M1 max chip it's got 32 gigs of ram 512 gigs of storage versus my m1 macbook air which i use as my daily driver it has the first gen m1 chip only 8 gigs of ram in 2022 and 256 gigs of storage which is like nothing and in this comparison we are going to be exporting a five minute 4k video file that is about 25 gigs big and we're going to see how much faster the new mac studio can do it versus my older m1 macbook air all right let's check it out Okay, so we got the studio on the left side and my MacBook Air on the right side and we're exporting the exact same file and you can see the progress bars going up. I'm just going to speed it up eight times because I don't want to waste your time or my own. So you can see the bar on the left is going up a lot faster and right around 51, 52 seconds it is done exporting whereas my macbook air on the left we're gonna have to speed this guy up once again because it is taking quite a bit longer you can see the progress bar finally going up and right around two minutes seven seconds it finally finishes exporting Okay, so the Mac Studio finished it in around 50 seconds and the MacBook Air took a bit over two minutes. So that is twice as fast. And with those stats, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with how much faster the Studio of Mac was. And if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate if you gave it a like. Okay, that was just a speed test comparing how much faster the new Studio Mac was. But if you are curious about more of my comprehensive thoughts on the new Mac Studio, you can check out my more detailed review up in the corner here. Okay, thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.